Tonight, a warning for local gardeners. The Oregon Department of Agriculture says it just detected an herbicide in some topsoil and compost products recently sold to people here. Coin wants to know how this happened, and our Wayne Haverly spent the day asking some tough questions. He joins us live with what you need to know about the soil tonight. Wayne? Yeah, Emily, right now uh, the state really doesn't know where this is coming from as far as the contamination and that herbicide. Testing showed that the herbicide, it showed up in several different types of topsoil and compost that were sold by at least one local business. But that business also wants to know how a banned herbicide somehow ended up in the products that they purchased to make that pot topsoil. These are all contaminated, every single one of them. Iris Nason recently spotted something disturbing in her garden. I grow a lot of tomatoes. I'm growing for the community. And I noticed the plants were starting to curl in on themselves. She noticed all her impacted plants were growing in eight yards of topsoil that she just purchased from Dean's Innovations, a landscape products distributor in Portland. She brought the issue to her gardening group and others reported the same thing, but also from compost purchased from McFarland's, another popular distributor. That's when the state got involved. We had the tests run and they've since come back positive for clopyrrolid. And now we're trying to figure out what is safe and what is not safe. The State Department of Agriculture considers clopyrrolid an herbicide with low toxicity if ingested, but it is a banned herbicide in Washington state, and in Oregon, its use is restricted to grass. Today, the state pulled samples from McFarland's and testing is underway there. Dean's Innovation said clopyrrolid was found in two of their products, steer manure and a batch of mushroom compost. Those products were pulled and Dean's is looking for new organic supplier relationships. The company said, quote, if Dean's cannot rely on the organic certifications and farms that supply the Portland area with manure and compost, how can the public rely upon the organic labeling in our fresh fruits and vegetables? They didn't knowingly put this out there at all. But unfortunately, it is out there. So as a gardener, what do you do about this? Well, take a look at your plants. If you just bought some topsoil and you start to see some strange curling or some deformity, uh, you may have a problem there. And uh, the state recommends that you do not use that topsoil, that you don't plant anything at it. You can get it tested and uh, the state can help you with that. We have some resources available for you online at coin.com if you have questions about that. And of course, we will continue to follow this story as the state continues its testing. Back yeah. to you.